What's going on you guys? So I have another tear down from Dale and Spiron. So this one is a 3668 model. And that one is, uh, this one right here is actually 3650. They all both look kind of the same. And just they're using a different power supply and a different motherboard. This one is a seventh gen CPU. This one is using a sixth gen CPU. So I'm gonna just do one tear down instead of me both do separate videos, it'd be only one. Let me show you guys the back side. This one and the other one I was gonna show you guys the back also. And you can see both have the same, basically the back, just the power supply is different they're using. Motherboard, uh, the 366050 using DDR3L RAM. This is using DDR4, the 3668. Right here, the ports looks the same. Everything's the case also, the side cover, the front cover base are all the same actually. So I'm just gonna do only one tear down for both. Just only one, only. So I'm gonna move this one. I'm just gonna lay it down. So I'll just need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head. So the psycho panel will slide to the left. First, what you need to do is you have to remove the front cover, plastic. Someone's gonna go like this, put it here. Now, what I will do is, so you're gonna slide it like this, it opens up gently, finger. And before you do that, you need a Phillips head, you're gonna disconnect right here the screw here. This is for the three and a half inch, holds the caddy here. And this will require to move the screw here in the middle before you move the caddy. So you disconnect the saving power cable. This will slide out like this. And disconnect the hard drive. You're just gonna have yeah, two screws on each side. So you guys are probably gonna push the teardown video is gonna be going to 100. It's, it's almost we're reaching 60 teardowns. And we're basically, I'm gonna set the bar higher for you guys here in the United States. I'm gonna go to 100 probably, teardowns later. So we're getting so close. So it just comes out like that. Disconnect, uh, here's the optical drive. Also disconnect. And this also, let me see. I'm gonna look at the front here. Disconnect this right here, the screw here. And this right here also scrolled by one screw here to remove the optical drive. Don't forget. I know it's very satisfying to watch the two down videos. I like it also. And so guys, what I'll do is, see right here, just gonna pull this down and move the SATA cables. Disconnect them. 
This is the power. So now what I'll do is I'm going to remove the VD card. And to do that, I'll show you guys. I'll put this up. So you're going to take this right here and clip it right here. You press it up like that gently. And then you pull the VD card out. It comes out like that. So this is what you have to do is you got to take this little secure clip right here and you press it up gently. Same time, then you remove the VD card. Now, we'll disconnect our rear system fan, four pin for the power, CPU power. I'm gonna remove the RAM. I'm gonna go the other side like this. Now, this is for the rear top right corner. This is the power switch right here. Just get a flathead screwdriver and we need to get this clip here, the metal one for the wire. I'm gonna go here, disconnect the CPU fan cooler, and here's the power right here in the bottom. Disconnect that also. So I have to get a mini Philips head to disconnect the wireless card. Just hold on. So you see that right here? This is the wireless card that's installed on the motherboard. It's using the same as for the laptop. It's uh, with the built-in with the Bluetooth. So what I'll do is disconnect it. Because the original Philips head is not gonna work. You need a mini one, smaller one, Philips. That's removed. <clears throat> what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the three screws here in the back from the power supply. And disconnect the fan here, system fan. There are four screws. And the fan is actually 80 millimeter. This is an 80 millimeter fan. It's actually a four wire. See that? Not a three wire, four wire. Here's a look at the model. You see. <clears throat> so what I will do now is I'm gonna go and remove the power supply. Now to do that, you guys can see there's a clip right here in the corner. You got a flat head screwdriver like this. Press it down and it should slide. So don't forget, you gotta press this down with the flat head screwdriver like this, then you're gonna slide it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, CPU cooler.
So I'm gonna leave the CPU on there. I'm gonna move the last part before when I pull the motherboard out. So what I will do is I will, <clears throat> you guys can see better like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start removing the screws here. So one, two, three, four, let me count. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like it's total eight screws you have to remove before you pull the motherboard out. Don't forget this one here in the corner you have to also remove. And here in the left corner. Now what I will do is I'm gonna go and pull the motherboard out and I need to get a paper towel. Just gonna to wipe down the thermal compound off. I'm gonna do is I'm try to pull the motherboard out. And you can gently take your fingers like this. And it should come out. So the motherboard. And I pull the CPU out. So it's like a micro ATX, but a little bit wider here on the side because built in USB ports, audio and SD card. PCI Express times one times 16 and times one, the bottom one is the back side. So, and be the last part is a power switch. See that power switch right in the corner? I'm gonna pull it out, so what I'll do is, you guys can see it right here, the last part. See that? In the corner, so you gotta take a flathead screwdriver. It just comes out. Basically, it just holds, just two clips here, one on the left, one on the right. Press with a flathead like this and it comes out. Power switch with the LED power LED. So guys, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.